the world. Standing by the standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said, to fulfill the scripture. I thirst. And a bowl full of vinegar stood there. So they put a sponge full of vinegar on hyssop. And held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the vinegar. He said. It is finished. And he bowed his head. And gave up his spirit. Let us pray. O oh, Jesus, the most pure and holy fruit of the Virgin Mary's womb, your mother yielded herself to the redemptive will of the Father in your conception and followed you to your bitter death on the cross. Grant that your whole church may by your grace be ever more conformed to her example of love and faithfulness to you. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. For by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Since it was the day of preparation in order to prevent the bodies from remaining on the cross on the Sabbath, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once there came out blood and water. For these things took place, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Not a bone of him shall be broken. And again, another scripture says, They shall look on him whom they have pierced. After this, Joseph of Arimathea asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave him leave. So he came and took away his body. Let us pray. Nothing in this world compares to your cross, Jesus, the sacrifice that you endure, the nails, the the vinegar, the spear, the reed, serve us as a reminder of the great love that you have for us and the Father. The blood and water that came forth from your body sets us free from the stain of sin. Praise be to your sacred heart. All honor and glory is yours. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. For by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And Joseph took the body of Jesus and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and departed. Mary Magdalene 
and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite the sepulchre. Let us pray. Lord Christ, only you were counted worthy to be the ransom for the sins of humanity. Thank you for your sacrifice and for your love. Praise be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Concluding prayers. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. For by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us pray. O God, who for the redemption of the world was pleased to be born, to be circumcised, to be rejected, to be betrayed, to be bound with rope, to be led to the slaughter, to be shamefully gazed at, to be falsely accused, to be scorched and torn, to be spit upon and crowned with thorns, to be mocked and reviled, to be beaten and stripped, to be nailed to the cross, and to die a shameful death, to be reckoned among thieves, and to be pierced with a spear through your most holy passion, which we, your sinful servants, call to mind, and by your holy cross and gracious death, deliver us from their bondage of sin and the desolation of hell, and lead us to where you have gone before us, so we might be with you who with the Father and the Holy Ghost lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. So Jesus abandoned with all our brethren the communion of saints. Let us adore, thank, implore, and join in sorrow and solidarity the most beloved and sacred heart of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. O Divine Jesus, to receive your Blessed Sacrament is to place it in the tabernacle of our hearts. However, if we receive you, we should make you a part of every decision in our life. Yet so many times we forget that we invited you into our hearts and continue living as we were before. Please forgive us. We offer you all four hearts, that every throb be an act of love for you, and that the flame of our heart burn and beam always as we accompany you in prayer, and as we stand with firm with you. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and O thanksgiving, be every moment yours. Please stand. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This is a time of a period of silent adoration. This is, this is a time where... Silence is kept for a period of time to be determined by you. You can remain in this quiet time for as long as you want. Just listening to the sacred heart of Jesus. Feeling the Holy Spirit upon you. Once you uh, 
are done, you may quietly get up and you may close your prayer by saying in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. So you may continue with the remainder again of the hour with Jesus and remain in silence as long as you would like. 